Welcome back to their best laptop setups video. This is episode number 33. And before I begin, I wanna give a quick shout out to Henry from episode number 32. You won, you're receiving a $100 Amazon gift card. But look, if you're enjoying this series, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as it does help out. And I wanna keep this series going. But today we have a bunch of awesome setups that I can't wait for you to see. Setup number one comes from Gabriel. He's from New Jersey. He's a musician, he's an artist, he's a fashion stylist. This guy's everything. And he is rocking a 2018 MacBook Pro on a fairly small desk. Considerably, he's a musician, so I feel like it should be a bigger desk. He just has a lot of stuff going on here. But look, I like the vibe. You know, it's a black and white vibe. He has some bamboo tones going on there. Feels kind of New York, but not New York. And then on top of all this, he has a 29 inch Dell monitors for a bigger display so he can see things better. But of course he's using proper speaker stands, which I respect. And the speakers happen to be from Cali Audio and they're the LP6 speakers. He has a bamboo or bamboo colored mouse pad. He has a shelf for his monitor and another shelf below where he can place his keyboard in terms of just storing it. And then he has a bunch of amps or DACs below it to connect his audio devices. Now the lamp to the left is from Crate and Barrel. I do dig the look of this. It's very futuristic. And then he has a little orange coaster for his mug which also looks really cool and then a pen holder on the right hand side below all this he does have a keyboard which obviously he uses to create his music now he is using a chair that looks like a herman miller aero chair but i don't think it actually is but either way i think the chair itself looks awesome Cable management a little messy just because of that microphone, but I feel like there's not much he can do there, but overall it's not too bad. And then the desk he's using happens to be from Ikea. Setup number two comes from Dominic. He's 25 years old, he's a city planner, he's Filipino, but grew up in Austin, Texas, and he wants to represent the other Filipino viewers. He says he's been loving this series so much that it forced him, well, it didn't force him, he, he kind of got inspired to create his own setup over the past 1.5 years. And look, I like it, you know, like it's not perfect, but I like the vibe. I feel like he does have a bit too much fake plants going on. I feel like he could have manscaped this down a bit, but that's what he likes. So who am I to judge? It is a dual setup. So he does have a PC off to the left-hand side. That looks to be a fractal case. And then on the bottom of the desk, he has his MacBook that he uses specifically for work. The beauty about this setup is the way the monitors are set up. I like a dual monitor setup, especially when they're stacked, but you have to be very careful with this. If the monitors are too high up, when you look at the big one, it's really going to cause issues with your neck. The idea is you wanna keep the bottom monitor as close to the desk as possible so that when you do look up, the distance is not too far. He does have a little shelf beneath it, which helps hide some of his cables, maybe a couple of knickknacks. And then he, his top monitor happens to be the gaming monitor, which is a 27 inch, 144 Hertz IPS display. The bottom monitor is from LG. It's a bit bigger at 29 inches, but it's an ultra wide. Sometimes he uses his iPad Pro. And then of course the speakers are from Polk Audio. They're the Elite ES10. I like how he's put some foliage around it kind of to hide them or make it look like it's in a jungle. And then he has an amp to connect his headphones and a mixer, which obviously connects his headphones as well. The Behringer DT77 Pros. And then he even has another headphone amp, which are the Scarlett Solo third generation. The keyboard is from Royal Kludge. It's the RKM75. This is a mechanical keyboard. And he does have a mouse, which is from Logitech, the G502X Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. Now, one thing I'm curious about is why he has so much cologne. This tells me two things. Either you don't like taking showers and you just give yourself a little cologne wash before heading out the door. In Portugal, we call that the Portuguese shower. Or you're a collector. I hope it's not the first one. But look, it's a clean looking setup. I like the vibe about it. You know, I like the pegboard on the left hand side, the extra headphones. I like how organized your cables are. It's not sticking out. Even at nighttime, you got a little bit of RGB to set the mood. Setup number three comes from Shahi. He's a college student studying healthcare and also working as a med coordinator in a brain injury residential home care facility. That sounds pretty impressive. But look, he's watched a lot of the desk setup videos and it took him a while, but he's been slowly putting this together. He calls it a budget setup and I can see how it may be, but it actually doesn't look budget. I think he's done a pretty good job. Now, the one thing I don't like 
is the placement of his Dell 24 inch monitor on the left hand side. I'd place this directly in front of you, especially if it's your main monitor. Sitting in an angle, again, is not good for your posture, especially if you're using your desk for a long period of time. I do wanna give him a thumbs up for having a cat in the video. That's instant points, at least in my book. And then the laptop of choice is the Lenovo Yoga 6 with 16 gigabytes of memory and a Ryzen 7 5700U. He has a computer monitor light bar directly above to give him some ambient light. He has an Amazon Echo so he can control lights and music, Bluetooth mouse from Walmart, an Atrix gaming headphone from GameStop, a bunch of wireless headphones like the Beat Studios, the AirPods Gen 3, and then he has Samsung Buds that he predominantly uses to listen to podcasts. I like the pegboards on the left hand side. He's obviously really into Funko Pops. He has them on the left. He has them in front of him. He has mice hanging on the wall. Not actual like real mice, but mice you use with your computer. But he also has a little section for his gaming setup. He has a PS5, the Ragnarok edition, which he has connected to a 32 inch Hisense Google TV with more Funko Pops attached to the wall. Overall, fantastic cable management and a pretty good setup. Setup number four comes from Suede. He's from Jamaica. I think this is the second Jamaican setup I've had in the series. I just don't get a lot of them, but I'm glad to see more. And as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yeah, this guy's a YouTuber. You know, like this is a YouTube setup and that's exactly what he is. You know, it's a very production focused setup. He has the sound panels on the back of the wall, those 3D looking foam things actually dampen sound. He also has more panels above his desk, off to the left. So whenever he's talking on a microphone, he doesn't want any echo or reverberation. I do like the color tones, you know? He has a white wall at the back to allow all the black and darker colors to pop. He's matching more of a mahogany tone with his black speakers. And then the laptop of choice is a MacBook Air. He doesn't play games, he's strictly about working. And he mostly works on editing YouTube videos for social content. But look, he has a Keychron keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. He's using a Logitech MX Master. We always have one in every single video. There's a little Steam Deck, which I imagine he uses to control OBS. There's a wireless charger. I love the fact that he has a couple of plants on the left and right hand side. He has a webcam at the top and then a laptop stand to hold his MacBook Air. He didn't really send any pictures of his cable management, but from what I can see, I think everything looks pretty good. And the final setup comes from Joe. I'm not sure where he's from. He didn't specify, but I do enjoy the look of this setup. It's fairly simple and minimal, and I feel like it's a good start for anybody who's putting a desk together. It's just a big display on his desk, which happens to be the Huawei Mate View 28 inch 4K display. And the beauty about this display is it has a built-in hub so that you can connect all your cables to. His laptop of choice is a Surface Laptop 3, which he placed underneath the desk. I like this. If you can keep your laptop underneath your desk, not only is it gonna provide better air cooling because it's kind of like on a laptop stand underneath, but you're also giving yourself more space on the surface, especially when you have a desk this small. Now the desk is from Ikea. He too is rocking a Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and a Logitech MX Keys keyboard. He does have a Philips Hue light bar and a Echo Show 8 to control lights and obviously play music. The only thing I don't really like about this setup is that he's not using a mouse pad. I know you don't technically need one if you're just doing general stuff, but moving your mouse around always feels better on a proper mouse pad. So that wraps up episode number 33 of the best laptop setups. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you're interested in submitting yours, there'll be instructions in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.